Hey Mike, Kevin Bowen here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, after one of the lessons, I had submitted a question about uh, some exercises that I could do um, while I had surgery. I actually had surgery on my wrist uh, a little over a week ago, and I had asked for some suggestions on what I could do with my left leg and my my left hand, and you know things to keep you know the other limbs in good shape during the six to eight weeks of recovery. And you had made some great su suggestions about you know taking the left hand and soloing over an ostinato and. Um, when I got to trying to do that, I sort of realized a, a huge weak spot I have. Um, I've never really worked a lot with doing uh, time, you know, patterns with my left leg. Obviously, I use it to control the hi-hat and, you know, and, and during a groove, I'll use it to keep time. But the truth is, whenever I go into a fill or some awkward rhythm, um, that left leg usually stops and kind of sort of goes off and does its own thing. So. I know that I need to work on that. So before I even try to work on, you know, the solo and over the ostinato, I realize that I need to build independence in that left leg, and I need to do something to to allow me to just something as simple as keeping eighth notes through an entire song, you know, without stopping during a fill or without stopping during a certain part of the pattern. Um, so this is an exercise I did. I sort of uh, took something that you had done in drum camp with us about. Uh, doing 16th notes on the hands and then moving the kick around on the different parts of the 16th pattern. So like, you know, put the kick on one and the second time, put it on the E, the and, the uh. Um, so I took that idea and I'm doing eighth notes on the left leg and I'm moving that right kick um, through those different parts of the pattern. Um, and then I try to add the snare and then eventually I just sort of, uh, you know, go ahead and give it a shot and see if I can play a variety of different, you know, rhythms and that eighth note going. So take a look and uh, any suggestions you have um, for maybe taking this to the next level would be greatly appreciated. Well, thanks.